it going everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a new mini-series of sorts titled Secret Features of the Saab 9-3, such as the one behind me and the one right back over there as well. I asked my followers on Instagram to send me their suggestions for what should be included in this video, just kind of going over, you know, little features that these cars have that you might not even know about. So I have to admit there were even a couple of these that I didn't know about, so it was pretty cool to learn a couple new things about my cars. Thank you all for your suggestions, those of you who sent something in. I really appreciate it, made this video possible. But with that being said, let's get into it after a word from the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of today's video is Farsela. They sent me out this nice little portable uh, vacuum cleaner that you can use in your car. So I tested it out on my Turbo X because it was quite dirty on the inside as you'll see here in a second, but it comes with a bunch of little different attachments you can use. And quite frankly, it worked very, very well. You can see how dirty my car was. So if you guys are interested in this product, make sure to click the link in the description down below to go to Amazon and purchase this. Uh, it's relatively well priced and it's also very, very small. It comes in a nice little carrying case. It's so small even that I could fit it inside of my glove box of the 9.3. So I was pretty stoked about that. It fits in there pretty easily. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. So the first secret feature I have on here isn't really a button that you press like a lot of these are or just little small things on the inside of the car. It's instead a whole kind of component of the car that many people don't know about. I made a video on this at least like three years ago probably. And the name of that feature is Saab Reacts or Saab Reaxis and pretty much what it is is it's a passive rear wheel steering that the front wheel drive 9.3s have. So of course this one being a Turbo X all wheel drive does not have Reaxis. But this car being a front wheel drive 9.3 and probably like 90 some percent of 9.3s out there has it. So it's really something, uh, I'll link the video, the full video, the full explanation up here. I just want to keep this short. But it's pretty much something, you know, at higher speeds when you're taking turns, you know, freeway interchanges and stuff. You'll, a lot of people say that they can feel it. I, I can't say I've really felt it a whole lot, but it really helps the high speed stability of these cars. And it's a pretty cool feature to have on, you know, a 17 year old Swedish sedan, you know, even some newer sports cars still don't have something like this. The second feature of this car or of these cars, we have to hop in to the interior. And this is by far the most suggested feature. Ignore all the stuff on the ground that's from everything I just took out of my glove box right here. That's because we are looking in the glove box and you will see that your 9.3 has a button back in here that allows you to heat or cool your glove box. So there's a little vent in there somewhere and pretty much it allows you to uh, air condition or heat your glove box. And a lot of people said that this is because the Swedes love their chocolate and they want to keep their chocolate cool <laughs> in their glove box so it doesn't melt. How true that is exactly, I don't really know, but still a cool feature nonetheless. Like who would think that you would need air conditioning in your glove box. This next feature is actually one that I'm utilizing on this car currently. If you saw my last video talking about Mako and all the crap that they did with my car in this broken roof trim, I temporarily have that roof trim stored using, you guessed it, the ski pass-through. And I knew that this existed for the longest time. Our 9.5 had all of our sobs that we've ever had have had this feature, but it's really cool. It pretty much allows you access to the trunk so you can store things that are much bigger than they'd normally be. And since this is in the way, I'm gonna go show it in the other car a little bit better. But of course, Sweden, you know, they love their skis and their skiing and whatnot. So they provided a space for you to be able to put your skis without, uh, without having to put them on the outside. I just completely lost my train of thought right there. But I've used this plenty of times for very long pieces, like when I got the uh, side skirts for the Project Saab, they wouldn't have obviously fit in the trunk themselves. So I put the ski pass through down and they both slid through here. Um, it looks like you can also lock it. There's a switch right here. So that's pretty cool to prevent access to the trunk from the inside of the car. But 
Of course, you also have this folds down and it's a nice armrest for rear passengers, but a cool feature nonetheless that not many modern cars have still today. Next up, this has actually become one of my favorite features as of late in my 9.3s, and I didn't really use it until the last six months or so, but not all 9.3s have this, I've noticed. The Project Saab does not have this feature, so it might only be coming on higher trim 9.3s, but if you see this button right under your mirror switch and you press it, might help if I uh, put the key in the ignition. If you press that button, and what it's gonna do is it pretty much, depending on which mirror you have it selected to, of course, is it points the mirrors downwards and it can help you with parking or seeing how close you are to a curb. So if I'm ever backing into a parking spot or something, I pretty much always use this since, of course, 9.3s don't have backup cameras. So if you press this button right here, depending on what mirror you have selected, of course, you'll see that the mirror, will fold in and then fold down and of course you can help see the curb or the parking line or whatever you're looking for there so it'll bend it bends out and back up it doesn't just bend straight down so that's kind of cool it's almost like it's pre-programmed to a specific spot this next feature of course you hop into uh here this is a very common well-known feature night panel featured this in the quirks videos that i've done but of course you press night panel everything's going to go dark except the speedometer up to uh, 90 miles an hour and you know if you're low on fuel that gauge will pop back on or if you have a check engine light of course that light will stay on or if you're adjusting the radio that'll pop back on for a couple seconds same with the ac so really cool useful feature i use it all the time at night but i'm sure just about everyone knows what that is so not much of a secret but I, I come on i had to i had to include this and then to follow that up of course right above night panel you have this button which is hardly ever used i'm sure most of you haven't even touched it before but it's to adjust the brightness of the instrument cluster and all of these lights here so pretty cool feature um i've used it a couple of times like if i don't know for some reason my eyes are really strained i need to turn it down or if it just seems dim for some reason to turn it up but just a nice little adjustment that you have as well. And then staying right in this little button stack here as well, a lot of you have probably wondered what this button with a line does on it. And I have too. Pressed it about a million times and it, of course, doesn't do anything. I mean, the car's off, so it's not gonna do anything anyways, but this is an auxiliary button. Now I've been told that you can use this to wire up lights or whatever you want, something extra, maybe a subwoofer even, I don't know, whatever, whatever you would, whatever your heart desires. Now, in terms of who's actually used this, I've never actually really seen a 9.3 that has used this button before, but if you have it wired up to something, please let me know down below in the comments because I'm curious to know who actually uses this button for something. For our next secret, we've got to look at the key fob here. Now, of course, you have your lock, you have your unlock, you have your trunk, and you have this weird button with a line on it. I guess kind of sticking with the trend of the auxiliary button, just more buttons with lines on them that don't really have any description. But this button, I'm sure all of you know what this does because you've probably pressed it wondering what it does. Press it, of course, you're going to get your driving lights or your daytime running lights of sorts. Like you get your brake lights come on, you get your side markers right here come on, and you get, if you have a facelift, you get your eyebrow that comes on up here. If you have a pre-facelift, then you'll just get this little daytime running light that comes on right in here. So pretty cool feature, especially, you know, if you just want to like, press it just be like hey look at what my car can do even though you know it, it could be useful if you're uh in a parking lot at night can't find your car of course you see it just times out after like 15 30 seconds but still nice cool little little feature so this is a very common uh quirk of the 9.3 i guess also a secret feature many of you guys or many people on facebook groups just go nuts over these things for whatever reason but normally of course right here in this spot you have just a nice little cover that kind of looks like the e-brake, just a nice flowing line to go over here. Now, of course, I have this 3D printed cup holder. If you're wondering where I got this, um, go ahead and click the link up here in the top corner and go watch that video. But speaking of cup holders, there are a variety of different, I guess, options that you could get. This is called the Smart Slot um, from Saab. And there's a few different things that you can get. I know one of them, the big one is like an ice scraper. I'll put a picture on the screen right here so of course in arizona i don't need that but you can pull it out in the winter scrape off your windshield if it's icy there's also a really cool looking cup holder that these come with 
or that you could have gotten as well. You can still buy these new on eSob parts, I believe, but it was a very rare kind of factory option. For our last secret feature, I still have about a dozen more of these, and I'm sure you guys will give me even more suggestions in the comments, so there'll be at least one more video with secret features. But for our last one for today, uh, we have, of course, in your manual 9.3s, First time you've driven it, you've probably wondered, how do I get this thing into reverse? Of course, you have your first is over and up, but so is reverse. So you hold it down to the side, like in a BMW, you just have to press or push it hard to the side, and then you'll go into reverse. But there's actually a little collar that you have to pull up on over here, and then you can go over into reverse. But this is almost like a safety lockout prevents you from going into reverse while you're driving or you know you have to want to go into reverse because no one accidentally pulls up on this you know when they're trying to go into first gear. So pretty cool and then of course there's a pretty significant difference between reverse and first so it's hard to really mix them up and of course in this car when you put it into reverse you get a nice little beep because this car has backup sensors so kind of hard to mess that up in these cars. I guess a little safety feature but also just a little bit of ingenuity from the Swedes with that. So there you have it guys. That is uh, part one, I suppose, of secret features of the Saab 9.3. There will be more videos to come on this in the future, but if you have any additional suggestions, chances are I might already have them down, but still leave them down below in the comments so I can add to this list and we can show off all the cool quirky features with these cars. So with that being said, if you enjoyed today, today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time.